I guess one of the first things that attracted me to street art was the fact that you were creating art in the public domain that was just for, for anyone's appreciation or judgment. It was outside of any kind of institution or, or gallery setting. You were kind of free to do what you want. That street art and public art in general just helps people relate and become more of a part of, of their environment and, and their sort of city or their society. My name is Megs, I'm from Melbourne in Australia. San Fran for the Young and Free exhibition, um, I had the opportunity to kind of stay for a little bit of extra time and because I'd done work with Endeavour and my good friend Jeff Hamada from Booms living here, I thought yeah it'd be rad to go to Vancouver, I've never been there and hook up with all those guys and speaking to Max from Endeavour, he's like oh, we'll work out some commissions for you to do like a piece within the office and then the mural outside if you're keen and so we just worked out the details of that. I'm just sort of stoked to get the opportunity to paint a big wall working with these guys who, you know, everything I've done with them so far has been really rad. talking to Max the idea of sort of a cold front came out and so I was like okay let's use nice kind of blue hues the, the wall is like a dark grey colour so stick with those monotones so I personally just kind of wanted to theme it a little bit to tie it in with the experience I guess like being in Vancouver and sort of creating some references to that and the Endeavour company since it's something we're sort of existing in their space. It's like, I guess there's still a part of the designer in me that kind of likes to work with a little bit of a brief. The superhero-esque characters that I, that I use a lot tune them into the idea of like a snowboard related kind of character um, using reference to the air holes which is like these really rad masks that the Endeavour guys are doing. The image of the grizzly bear which is a pretty strong symbol for, for Vancouver and, and Canada. It's sort of theming everything in that direction so you know lots of kind of icicle style sharding and just creating that, that dynamic and using those colours. Okay, here, here, just stand, just stand. Put your hand down. Just don't, just don't move. Go. For me it's important to always kind of push outside your sort of comfort zone of working. It pushes me to create bigger and better and, and more sophisticated work every time. The benefit I guess of like travelling and working with different clients I suppose or different galleries and all that sort of thing is that each situation is a little bit different so you kind of have to evolve I guess and, and work with the people, work with the new ideas and and that could just, it's just interesting, it just keeps it kind of evolving and keeps me moving forward. Like I never want to kind of be static doing what I'm doing, I always want to kind of keep building on it and, and yeah, just sort of growing, I guess. A lot of people don't see uh, artists producing artwork on the whole. Most artists produce their artwork in a closed environment, in a studio, uh, Etc. So when they see a public art happen, they can go up and they talk to the person and you know, they can interact with it. I think it does sort of bring people together, a piece of public art in, in their space, their, their area of living. They'll walk past it sort of on a daily basis or whatever and, and it becomes a part of their lives. And if they like it, you know, it becomes a positive part of their life. Yeah.